this year? How, how much are you looking forward to, to working with some of those kids that, that haven't been through here yet? Myself and the staff are really excited about, you know, some of the young guys, some of the guys, I know Scotty talking about, you know, some of the guys in the rotation, bullpen, position players. It's a, it's a good blend. You know, we got some, some good six-year guys. Uh, we saw Figueroa last year with Durham. Uh, had a good year with the, you know, Galvis and the PCL. Numbers were great. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a nice mixture. And, you know, it's, it's always great working, you know, with the Tyler Austins and Heath Cots and the rep being back after, you know, spending a half year here. So, uh, it's a good group. Also, a couple of new coaches so yeah. with, with Justin and Marcus. What, you know, what's it been like, you know, getting getting to know them the last couple of weeks? Oh, it's been outstanding. Uh, Justin Tordy's our defensive coach, but this guy's a jack of all trades. Uh, and, um, you know, Marcus knows a lot of these hitters from last year and over the last few years, and a uh, real good relationship with the players. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, it's a major league staff. And these guys bring a lot to the table. And, you know, when we have our meeting tomorrow, you know, talk to the players, make sure these guys take advantage of it because there's a lot of experience, you know, with like talk with Marcus and all didn't, and, and Justin. So, uh, very good staff. Dave, have you got the five holes in the bullpen? No, you know what? We don't. And I'm glad you brought that up because if you look at those names down there, that's, that's some real good arms down there. So, uh, um, but we got a lot of flexibility down there. I mean, you know, without naming a closer or whatever, I'm sure me and Scotty will sit down and, and come up with a couple of names in case one of them's not available and things like that. But uh, real good arms down there. That's, that's, uh, we're excited, and you know, on any given night, you know, you, we can run a couple of those guys out there and hopefully close out a ball game. How much of an advantage is it for a bullpen to to have that kind of setup where you don't have you know Whalen or Al Waldejo right, to go right. to down there, but but they're all getting chances. Well, I, I think that, that I think that's important. You know, those, you know, whatever role they're in, and you know, again, it usually plays itself out. You know, and uh, but the experience. You know, even though it's Triple A, you know, when they're when they're in tight ball games towards the end of a game, you know, we we think that's beneficial when they do go to the big leagues that, you know, they have that experience. But uh, you know, like you said, that you know, we've got some guys down there that are capable of doing some some real good things. So we're looking forward to it. With with Ref coming back, being able to plug him into the three spot, I mean, how how good is it to have a guy that you know? kind of what you're getting to plug into that spot and you know the season for him how big it is with your know, kind of defensively and everything with him it's huge you know talking about a guy you know came up here and hit 300 at this level hits it, it you know he's hit wherever wherever he's been and uh you know he uh he doesn't give it bats away um and you know he was the when i started thinking about a lineup a couple of weeks ago in spring training he was the name that wasn't even a hesitation to put him in the three hole and, uh, you know, so it, it is, a, there is some comfort factor there, you know, which you're going to, you're going to get on a daily basis. He's going to grind out at bats. And I, I know that's a big, big theme of, uh, you know, what Marcus talks about with these guys. And uh, I think we'll see a lot of that with, with our hitters. We saw it, you know, over big league camp. It, it shows in, in their, their past years. And, uh, you know, so, you know, Ruff was a perfect guy for that. Did you work on pace of play much? How did that end with uh, down there? Uh, it's funny we had a we had a big conference call this morning um, with uh, Randy Mobley and 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 that I, I think uh, all the managers, uh, pitching coaches, and I know general managers and then whoever else, the guys that are keeping the, the clock and the time and all that. So we had we had a lengthy meeting this morning and. Uh, you know, you just have to adjust with it. You know, I, I, I don't think anybody's going to have an issue with it. It may take a little while, just because nobody's used to it. I know that they did do it more at the big, at the major league games in spring training. We didn't have it at the when we were playing minor league games. So some of these guys are already familiar with it. And then the guys from the Arizona Fall League, that's when they implemented it the first time. And you know, there's some guys in, out there that I think have already been through it. So it'll. It'll be, you know, it'll be interesting, but you know, we'll get through it.